Hey guys, Amanda here. I want to talk about um, my son and <clears throat> and I was talking with his case manager about different um, like a different approach to his learning because he you know he is just not the kind of kid that learns that can sit down and do homework. He can't do that. It, he can't sit that long and concentrate for that long. It's very difficult for him. So I want to work with her and the teachers and see if there's a different approach to take for him so he can still do all the work, but um, also feel that what he's doing isn't that kind of way like he likes to play games and stuff and they have that stuff at the school on the iPods I think iPads whatever I don't know and a lot uh, some of the activities that they do to learn stuff is in that type of format it's fun he thinks it's fun and he's learning so I was thinking of approaching other subjects in that way that way when he comes home he can do his homework without really knowing that it's homework and he's learning and he's having fun and it's not like this big huge struggle and he ends up not doing any work which is how it's been going he he doesn't want to do it because you know I don't blame him he they, it's like a, he was getting a two-sided math paper and it was like the same thing on both sides. It wasn't like different or, you know, and he didn't like that. He's like, I already did it in school. And I understand that, you know, but at the same time, he's going into fourth grade and he's got to learn that he's going to have homework and he's got to do it. It's going to be work. So I want to make sure that what he's learning is something that when he comes home, he can process in a different way and still do the work. I think that's very important. He really needs to learn how to work hard in academics, you know, so he can learn and, and, and do what he wants to do. I mean, I don't know how serious it is right now, but he's talking about college, you know, so if that's the route he wants to take, I want him to get a good education now so he has that option <clears throat> and the ability to take on college courses. So, um, I'm working with my, my case manager on that with talking, excuse me, ah, bugs, talking to the teachers about that. And also I think it would be good to, um, try to have another in-home support team come in. Not the one that I had that was, you know, with that horrible case, um, what was she? Whatever, the, the person who was in charge of the, um, the BHPs and stuff, the clinician, that's what it was. Um, it's not that program that I didn't like, it was the clinician. <laughs> you can only be called a bad mother so many times before, you know, you, <laughs> you get to a point where you just want to punch somebody, you know. But anyway, I talked to him about it, and I just thought it would be good that after school... Um, that he, somebody can come in and help with, you know, a routine and, and bring in also a sort of reward system that he can do at home, you know, and see if that works. Because if he's doing it at school and he likes it, why not tr come up with some something similar to do at home? You know, something that him and I can do together to get his work done and stuff, you know, and to make sure that he has... Um, a routine and I have a routine because I'm going to be doing it with him I think that would be very very helpful because um, the BHPs they have ones that are for behavior and then they have ones that are for like a therapeutic um, perspective but you know what they don't have one that has both <laughs> and kids like my son who have Asperger's you kind of need both because um, he has behavioral and emotional things that go with it so but anyway I am going to give it a try nonetheless and see if it helps in any way <clears throat> I'm also going to be um I'm, I'm trying right now to get him 
uh, retest it again, you know, like, oh, cut, you know, do it all over again. Um, because the last time he was tested, he was like two, between two and three. And he couldn't really do most of the stuff, and a lot of the stuff was a zero, and it's not accurate as how it should be. So I want to get him into this place that's really, really good at what they do, and they do the the entire spectrum of testing that you could possibly do in this type of situation um, with a special needs child. So there is a waiting list like two years, but you know what? I'd rather get on the wait list and wait two years and get good care and get good testing for him than go to some person who's going to insult me, you know, which has happened before one of the people that I went to basically was trying to tell me that it's my fault that my son has Asperger's, autistic traits, whatever you want to call it, and that's not cool. You know, I'm getting tired of people blaming me for him having this disorder. I mean, it's like ridiculous. But nonetheless, I would rather get him on a wait list and, and do it that way, and also I'm getting him, trying to get him into um, social thinking group, which would be good because he'd be with other kids that are similar to him, and it's a place where you can learn a lot of social skills, which is something that is very difficult for, for people who are on the autistic spectrum. Um... Also, I need to get another testing done for um, him to have, oh gosh, I forgot what it is. Um, I think it's called a Vineland test. Vineland test, yes. Um, which is, it's a short thing, but I, I want to get him into that as well. I want to get him all the care that he can possibly get because I really need to be a good parent, be responsible, and get him what he needs now, and get him to do what he needs to do so he can function in society when he's an adult. Um, also, oh, I am very strict on this. He needs to have an extracurricular activity, so some sort of sport that he wants to do. I don't care what it is. Well, no, I do. There are certain things I wouldn't let him play, like boxing and hockey and stuff, but you know, baseball, basketball, um, softball, lacrosse, soccer, you know, something like that, I would love for him to do. He doesn't want to do the karate anymore. And that's okay. I'm not going to make him do something he doesn't want to do, but he has to have some sort of extracurricular activity. You know, it's good for him. It's good to be on a team and learn how to work in that kind of environment with other kids and, and be social and all that. That's It's very important. So I'm very adamant that he needs to do this. He needs to either get one this year or next year. And that's how it's going to be. The sooner the better. And I've talked to him about all of this so he knows what's going on. But this is what I'm doing with him right now. Um, who knows how it's going to go. But... I am going to definitely keep you guys updated, so, um, yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know that, and, you know, hopefully this is helpful to some people, um, you know, if you have any questions or whatever, you know, feel free to email me or leave them in the comments or private messages, whatever it is you want to do. All right, um, thank you guys for watching this video. I really appreciate it. I love you all, and I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys.